And here's a review for the uh, Kamen Rider Double uh, DX Roleplay Toy uh, Trigger Magnum. It does come with the uh, DX Trigger Memory. So now I have all the memories for... Uh, well, Feng's not, Feng's not here yet. I do have Feng coming. Uh, should be here any day now. Um, but all the main forms for Kamen Rider Double, I have all the guy memories. And I brought them in, this one in, just because uh, Trigger is usually uh, the second half of the Luna Trigger combo. So... Luna Triga. Um, I mostly just brought that in to play with myself. I didn't really. That was a bad choice of words. Anyway. Um, so he says Triga. Triga. So. I don't know how I made that noise, but whatever. Um, so yeah, you new trigger. It works in it works in the wep in the weapon as well as the uh, the double driver. And uh, as soon as Fang gets here, when I'm showing off Fang and plugging that into the double driver, I'll, I'll show off the heat metal and the. Uh, Luna Trigger memories since we've already seen uh, everybody with Joker. But here's the gun itself. Um, and, and, and like I always thought this design was weird, this angled down bit at the front um, on the show. But on the show, he shoots stuff out of here, and then when he powers up, he puts the memory in, flips it up, and it becomes more, looks like, more like a normal gun. This just looks kind of weird with this whole piece sticking out. Like, this would be okay, but this whole piece hanging down. It looks like he's supposed to be, like, shooting around a corner with it. I thought maybe he injected the trigger memory, went into the belt like this, like, you know, or I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. But there's a switch, uh, there's a batteries over here. And one of the things I love about a lot of these Japanese toys, at least all the common Rider toys I've been getting, is instead of having like a screw-on, like these guys have screw-on battery replacement covers, but most of them you just have a little thing where you push the button and it allows it to slide it down. Really nice. Way better than having to find a screwdriver every time you want to change the batteries. Um, but it takes two AAA batteries, which go right in here, and when you turn it on, it makes the, uh, just that noise. It repeats it. You don't have to hold, it, you can't hold the trigger down for more. It just, it, it just makes that noise the whole time. Um, you can flip it up like this, but without the memory in it, it makes the same, the same noise. Now, um... I'm going to turn this off for a second because otherwise you won't hear part of what's in the memory. Now, when you take the memory, you can pl you plug it in like this, so it's the sticker's facing towards this clear window. You pop it in, and it says "trigger maximum drive" and makes a do 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 do. And when you snap it up, it makes a chick chick noise. I don't know if you heard it, but it makes a. So instead of a, his maximum drive, actually the sound for his maximum drive does not actually come from here. It makes the do loo 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 loo, and then chick chick as you power it up. Um, and then when once when you've got this powered on, um, and I, I just turned the power off so you could hear that click click noise because that's coming from the memory itself. Um, but when you when, uh, and then when to pop it out, you just push this. There's a little button right here. You just push it, and it pops the memory out, and you hear the power down noise. Um, so with the power on, now that, now that I've showed you off the little chick chick, which is not all that impressive, uh, here's what it would look like with the power on. Again, it makes this noise just normally. That was weird. Hold on. See, that's definitely coming from here, but when I flip it up, it seems to start coming from back here. Yeah, okay. Um, and then it makes the giant explosion noise because it's got a bigger uh, bigger blast that way. That's kind of cool. I didn't really, like, okay. I, I, I didn't catch that before that uh, I would just flip it up and it would start making the noise from here. I didn't catch that it was actually a continuation of the noise from this. You let this build up. Um, okay, so that's kind of cool. Um, so again. And as long as that memory's in there, it's going to still make the, the maximum overdrive blast noise. Um, you can actually, if you want though, like, I, just, I, I think this is, is, is silly looking. I'll, I'll use it like this sometimes if I'm actually just kind of messing around, but uh, you can still make the same gun noise 
without the trigger memory in it, um, with the with the piece flipped up. And this is how I usually use it. I just like carrying it around. And... I terrorized the cat with it for a couple hours earlier. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, there it is. Um, again, thanks to Dash for selling me this for a really decent price, um, like a really decent price. Um, so thanks, Dash. Um, yeah, trigger trigger magnum. I got the trigger DX memory guy memory. And the, the Magnum itself, which is uh, just a lot of fun. Much better roleplay toy than the... Uh, it, it's a little small in my hand, but it's a much better roleplay toy than, than the heat sh uh, the metal shaft. That thing was just kind of... Meh. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a... Uh, but th this one's a lot of fun. I highly recommend picking this up. So there it is, the uh, Kamen Rider Double DX Roleplay Trigger Magnum.